Hello ladies and gentlemen and uh, this video is going to be an album review of Electric Warrior by T-Rex uh, which was released on the 21st of September 1971 the second T-Rex album and the new sound was about to hit Europe and about to hit England Mark had waited so long for this point in time and the new sound glam rock was here I need the people in. I want to cruise with you I need the man person I got to be the one with you Shadowless horse, if I can't get across to you, eating an alligator vein, my heart's so pain for you, for you. Bolan had waited uh, three years for this time from 1967 to 1970 when he was a duo with Steve Perrigan took he brought the new sound in with Mickey Finn and added a drummer Bill Legend a bass player Steve Curry six albums in the can but this is the one where what he has always wanted to do. He told everyone in school, I am going to be a superstar. And the glam rock god of 1971 was about to hit our TV screens on top of the pops. Mark Bolan, the innovator of glam rock, had arrived with his new sound, and his new album. And I feel real weird for you, for you, for you. Very sexual album, this, all the way through beneath the beat bop moon. I want to croon for you, and I'm just a Jaguar, and I'm going to suck ya. Very sophisticated album. Tony Visconti was the producer. They brought in strings arrangements on this, but Mark had to include some of the old sound with the new sound. I was dancing when I was 12. I was dancing when I was out I was dancing when I was out I danced myself this, right at the This is what he always wanted This track could have been included on Unicorn And My People Were Fair with you know, the hippie trippy Tyrannosaurus Rex albums Cosmic Dancer could have been on that but this had a different sound from that time. This had horns on it and string arrangements. This was the new sound. The old sound with the string arrangements, the new sound. Cosmic Dancer is the second track. We opened up with Mambo Sun, the first track, a real groovy track. But the second track is absolutely awesome. I'm going to give the scores in a minute. Let's just hear a bit of Cosmic Dancer because this is an absolute killer track. I dance myself into the tomb. I dance myself into the tomb. Is it strange to dance so soon? 
dance myself into the tomb Is it wrong to understand The fear that dwells inside a man What's it like to be alone? Top notch. This is top notch. This is melancholy, melodic. This is a class album. Electric Warrior is class. It's absolute class. From top to bottom, every track is a banger. And there ain't many artists can do that. He did it with Slider. He did it with Tanks directly after. But we're focusing on this one. Electric Warrior, what a banger this album is. Cosmic Dancer, just, you know what? I've got goosebumps at the back of my neck listening to this. This is absolutely awesome. I dance myself out of the world. September the 21st, 1971. Welcome along to this video. This is a review of Electric Warrior. So the album is iconic. We've got Mark standing by the Marshall amp there and the black iconic. If you haven't got this album, I'm sure we you have got this album. Everyone's got this album. This is a classic album we're introducing today. Mambo Sun, it kicks off with Mambo Sun, a really groovy track, glam rock. Then it goes back to the old days, Cosmic Dancer, but it's got string arrangements and horns on it, and it's got backing vocals. So track three is more glam rock. How on earth did this song only reach number two in the UK charts? Because I think something like Grandma or Granddad was in front of it. We had some silly charts in the 70s, I tell you, but this should have been a number one song from T-Rex. The new sound was in the charts. You're so sweet. You're so fine. I want your heart and everything. I'm just a two-minute line. Cause you're my baby. Cause you're my love. Oh, girl, I'm just a jeepster for your love. You slide so good With bones so fair You've got the universe Reclining in your hair Cause you're my babe Yes, you're my love Oh, girl, I'm just a jeepster For your love yeah, you're so sweet. <laughs> you're so sweet. You're so fine. I want you everything just to be mine. Because you're my baby. Because you're my love. Girl, I'm just a jeepster for your love. I want to suck you. This is Sex Appeal. Sex Appeal and Glam Rock and Mark Howlin. This is absolutely 10 out of 10. Jeepster for your love. 
Apparently, this is what Mark wanted in the classrooms when he told everyone, I am going to be a superstar. And some believed. Yeah, Helen Shapiro, she believed. She said, yes, Mark, you definitely are going to be a superstar. There's no doubt about that. What a talent this guy is. Mark Bolan is one of the best songwriters of all time. He's one of the best front men of all time. He's just one of the best musicians of all time. There has never been anybody better than Mark Bolan. He wrote all the songs, nine albums for uh, all the four Tyrannosaurus Rex albums, seven T Rex albums. He wrote the lot. And he wrote this one classic Jeepster. Okay, let's give the scores then. It opens up with Mambo Sun, that's 10. Cosmic Dancer, that's 10. Jeepster, that's 10. And believe it or not, this fourth track, Monolith, is one of my favorite tracks on the album. This is just brilliant. I love Mark's vocal delivery on Monolith. Medieval, glam rock, Blues, it's got the lot. of the actions of the children of men who could write such lyrics what did it what does monolith mean what do all what does what does mark's lyrics mean that's why he is one of the best songwriters of all time only mark knows what they mean but they sound good to us electric warrior was born and that's a 10 out of 10 monolith but you know what I want my blues. Uh, hey, Ted, I love that. Hey, Ted. <laughs> Come on, baby, give me lean whim woman blues. I want my blues on Electric Warrior. Oh, yeah, this is 10 out of 10. Classic T Rex Electric Warrior. What an album. Ow. Let's go to the sixth track on uh, Electric Warrior. And Mark released this one as a single and it went bang straight in at number one. This is what Mark wanted. He had the early ones like Rider White Swan who were hitting the crossbar, but this finally hit the back of the net for Get It On. Number one in 71. Like a cat. 
Yeah, Monolith gets a 10 out of 10. Lean Woman Blues gets a 10 out of 10. Cosmic Dancer, 10. Mambo Sun, 10. And Get It On gets a 10. Get It On is one or is the best glam rock song of the entire glam rock genre never mind this album never mind get it on being on this album get it on as a single is one of the top 10 in fact i'm gonna say get it on is the best glam rock song of the entire glam rock genre no doubt about it this is top notch so mark was on top of the pops number one and we have a fantastic planet queen this is groovy great lyrics from mark fantastic song 10 out of 10 we are or I am reviewing T-Rex the cover is so iconic and uh, it was by a group called Hypnosis who uh, put the cover together Mark standing by the Marshall Amp Marshall Amp and Planet Queen is a 10 out of 10 track and the new sound glam rock had arrived in the shops and this album Electric Warrior Spent six weeks at number one. Oh God. A great ballad from Mark here. This one's called Girl. Fantastic track. Lovely vocal delivery. It's got horns. It's got string arrangements. It's just beautiful. Charming song. A very charming song, this, from T-Rex. And Mark... Fantastic album. This is Electric Warrior 1971 album review. But somehow you float, you do yes, Girl from Mark Boland, T-Rex. And a very spiritual theme, I would say. Oh God, high in your fields above earth. Come and be real to us. Brilliant. I want to get motivated, Mark. Oops. Well, we can't play Moavea, or can we? Love the way you walk. Well, uh, we can't play Motivator, unfortunately. Um, so there we go. Uh, I've played quite a few tracks, haven't I? So, yes, um, the rest of the album, uh, Life's a Gas. This is a charming song, brilliant, uh, great song, uh, very charming, great lyrics fantastic lyrics string arrangements on that and the last song rip off i mean this could have been the very first rap record maybe i mean it's different isn't it it's really fantastic and uh um could it be punk as well um, i could see a punk rock band doing rip off very well but it's, it's very rapish isn't it uh so this this has been julian uh, reviewing the album Electric Warrior. It's a 10 out of 10. Every track from top to bottom, 10 out of 10. Uh, sorry I can't play anymore, but we did play quite a few songs. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, 
it gets a 10 out of 10. Every track is 10 out of 10. And um, it's iconic. The cover with Mark standing by the Marshall amp. Always love that. This is a brilliant album. Uh, it's just every track. I just love Rip Off right at the end. It, end, it starts well with Mambo Sun and it ends with Rip Off, a song that's far advanced. Could have been a rap record. And we're talking 1971 and rap didn't come out until 1979 when the Sugar Hill gang had Rapper's Delight. You remember that? But Mark was doing his thing on Rip Off. It sounds rap to me. It could have been punk. Yeah, a punk band could have done this as well. It's so advanced. It's a great album. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, touch the subscribe button and drop a comment. Let me know what Electric Warrior means to you. Do you love like the album? Of course you do. Everyone loves this. This is a T-Rex. This is glam rock. This is one of the best albums of the 70s. And it's got one of the best uh, glam rock songs of all time. Get it on. Uh, Jeepster's fantastic as well. That's a glam rock song. Should have been number one. Uh, but I'll be back with another video shortly. Take care and uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the album review. Thank you very much.